Right. Ever wonder what to do with those leftovers in your refrigerator? Well, chefs, uh, Chef Sam Choi always seems to know how to turn them into mm. something mm. new and exciting. On Sunday, he and John Benary will head to Kailua to visit the home of fellow KHON2 personality Howard Dashevsky. Yeah. Sam and John break into Dash's newly renovated kitchen to whip up dinner of salmon tostadas from the items wow. in Howard's fridge and cabinets. That sounds really delicious. It's pretty amazing what uh, Chef Sam Choi can do with leftovers. I'm just nosy. I want to see what his kitchen looks like. <laughs> yeah. Again, Sam Choi's In the Kitchen airs this Sunday at 6.30. Just go to khwin2.com for complete program program listings. Did you know Sam also came into my home? Really? He did. And the kids were there. And um, when he went into the refrigerator, it's kind of like someone going into your panty drawer. Like, you know, you're a little bit embarrassed. No, my, my underwear drawer looks nothing like my refrigerator. <laughs> But he, he's so amazing. He really, people ask me all the time, to this day, I'm at Costco shopping, and they're like, did Sam go and look in your refrigerator ahead of time? True story, he did not. Really? They yes. don't plan anything. They you can don't. tell us, right, Hawaii? I'm, I'm telling anything. you the truth. Uh, okay. The cameras, you know, were put in there. He's right. not the one to do that. You didn't sneak the night before, go to Whole Foods, put a bunch of healthy stuff in there, some coconut water. I don't or... have a whole, I had just come back from vacation, so I did have a few things, like vegetables right. and stuff, but what he creates is really really off the cuff. See, I'm going to cheat. If they come to my house, I'm just going to like stack it with all of this stuff. <laughs> so like, oh, good. that's in there? Caviar? I had that's, no idea that was in there. That's always in my, in my refrigerator. <laughs> well, you know what? You don't have to wait until Sunday to learn one of Sam's, Sam's secrets from the kitchen. This morning, he's got us in the kitchen, and he's going to show us some tips about lettuce that you can keep fresh in your refrigerator. This tip for you today is about how to keep lettuce fresh. One of the most important things is to keep it dry. You know, a lot of times we just pick it up in the store and bring it home. And what happens is when water gets on it, this is what happens right here. So you get this little uh, kind of, uh, uh, you know, we call Building. it water rut. Yeah, ru uh, you know, it gets rut. rut. Well, that's part of my problem when you go shop and you buy in bulk and you live alone. It's Right. So, you know, you want to just smear it, cut it off like this, right? Yep. So you want to roll it up either full like this. And then you can just run it on the water, okay? Man, look at this stove, man. I mean, this, this sink is amazing. So this is how you want to prepare it. And then you can wrap it up with saran. And this thing will last for a while. Really? Like this. You won't get the rut on it. The water that, that you see on that will keep this moist. But what I mean about having, you know, water into a bag the plastic don't breed. Right. So what happens is it, it just rots. Just put it in the fridge just like this. Just right? like this, yeah. Oh, and I think okay. it lasts forever. And that is your Living 808 tip. Mm, yeah. Thanks, guys. And there, you got a peek at his kitchen. I did, and I also got a peek at him saying he's... Do, he's single. He is single. I picked that one up off the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I threw that one up in the air. He is, but maybe not for long. Well, yeah, that didn't look like a bachelor's kitchen. No, I mean, he's got good taste. Well, all right. <laughs> all right.